Good morning, how are we all doing guys? So this is our Forex update for the TD Sequential um, for Monday the 1st of June. So happy, happy Monday guys, happy 1st of the month. Um, straight up to those charts. Um, right, so as you can see, we have our Euro um, US dollar, my, my favourite short that won't go down. It's only fundamentally a short. I mean, ultimately, we trade the technicals. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let me just show you. So basically, we had the line drawn out the recent at the the high. We had this drawn on before in this arrow, well before any of this any, any of this happened. And it, and I said um, that if we break over this high, um, then obviously this is where I expect to go, which is pretty much the top of um, basically the the, the target um, for the break out of this formation. Um, so yeah, so we pretty much reached the target. I mean, obviously I, I did it. I did it very roughly uh, based on roughly where it should be. Um, so the fact that we didn't quite touch the top of where I took the arrow from um, is ne not necessarily that important because um, it wasn't, um, I didn't calculate exactly and nothing is exact anyway. But either way, you've just got to look at this guys and look at how, how perfect an example in real time we've shown you, shown everybody um, over the past few weeks um of just how to trade how to trade an asset i mean it doesn't it doesn't matter what what asset this is but we just stick to the technicals we stick to the td we look at what we're going on look at what's going on we look at the pennant formations we look at the retests we look at the break of old support i mean this just got everything this has literally got everything in, in it guys everything in this in this trade um it's just it's just fantastic the way it's worked out um and then you can see what we have got now as well um we had a td9 here um, a four hour nine. These are the ones we like to short. Um, not that you do want to be shorting after a big candle, um, but either way, nonetheless, we had our sell level here, which would have been here. Let me just draw it on. Um, our sell level would have been there, which we didn't close the candle below. So therefore, no trade. Um, just delete that. And then what we did do though, we had the next nine, and then we had our sell. Um, our sell line on this nine is basically here. Um, and as you can see, we are currently currently knocking on its door we have traded below it so it's a case if this four hour candle closes below here um then yeah then expect to move down i mean this was obviously the recent support so the support initially um so initially we should probably target there if if this does play out and then if we break that support level um i mean we can't really look i mean we can look to the trend line but um yeah we'll put the trend line possibly as a target then and um, if we do break that and then finally, if we then break down below that level, I mean, we could expect obviously the move to play out to the bottom side. But I mean, we kind of played out this pennant formation, so it's not necessarily something I'd really look for. Um, it would more be a case of um, if we break this horizontal level, um, we'll move down to what is basically a trend line here on the macro. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so great um, euro US dollar. We also what we had going on here was a twelve nice twelve hour nine also. Uh, just here so again same trade basically well it's not actually it's a little bit low on the 12 hour candle um but yeah we could be getting a move could be getting this could be the start of a move down so this is the great trade i i've taken this trade as well this morning um so um i did get in a bit early but obviously i was a bit um i just i just like to like to short this um for just this bad trading reasons reasons um i i will say the smartest people learn from other people's mistakes so yeah, I jumped in early on this. It may or may not work. There'll be times when it worked, but um, but yeah, um, you guys learn from my mistake if I'm wrong. But uh, currently, I'm not wrong. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but don't learn, <laughs> don't learn bad habits from my mistakes either. Um, right. So cable, what's cable doing? So yeah, cable looks like we're potentially um, trying to make that move up. This is the four hour. Um, so nothing TD wise in the four hour nothing uh, there won't be anything td wise on the 12 hour on the day sorry the two day on the daily nothing td wise um and then clearly there'll be nothing td wise on the weekly so looking at the four hour for a potential um just for a potential sell entry um we we're obviously waiting for a four hour nine which we don't currently have we have this um move we're sort of aiming for up to here up to this risk like risk line warning line risk line um but yeah so we've had this drawn in for a while um that is a potential target just just based on these levels based just based on these highs not really based on much else in all fairness um <clears throat> so um yeah we'll see how we go and see if we do get a reversal candle or a td a nice reversal in the td but at the moment nothing doing there guys nothing doing clearly if you want to short one of these pairs this is the pair because we have got indications 
Um, good trade, good good trade indications there. Right, so euro, um, euro, euro pound. Um, yeah, so we had this nine. I would um, assume um, we just draw this off, drew this off horizontal. Um, I don't think we drew it off any daily nines. Uh, oh, actually, we drew it off this daily nine, and it, and it was nice horizontal also, incidentally. Um, we did um, have a four hour nine also, so we are potentially activating a trade soon here based on the four hour. Um, what I may start doing um, is drawing sort of the four hour trades on with the skinnier line, as you can see, the skinny line. Um, and then we kind of know their four hour trades, smaller time frame trades, smaller line. Um, and then we can draw the, that like the um, the daily or the 12 hour ones on with a um, basically on with uh, the thicker line. And that might be an interesting way to do things. So I do really like how you guys are watching these videos. You're seeing the progression. You're seeing the trades in real time. It's just a it, it's a good way to do it, I think. And then, yeah, we'll just draw this down basically to the same level. Um, so now, yeah, we've got a new, a new. We're developing our, developing our learning process. So I like that. I like a I like development. Um, but yeah, so you can see we had that nine didn't trade through it, so no trade there, nothing, nothing doing. But we have got this potential set up here based on this four hour nine, um, and then also I'd expect us to accelerate if you break through here, right? Aussie dollar, um, Swiss franc. So, so we are, looks like we are going to get this move up. We saw well, this is this is a reversal candle. So strictly speaking, um, if we start trading below this candle. Um, or closing a four hour below this candle um, it to be more conservative you'd expect a, a potential reversal um, but that has not happened yet um, this I mean it is a reversal candle but it's, it is also in indecision candle that's what a reversal is where you're not deciding where you're going and you change your mind um, but yeah so what I would still say I'll still maintain this line if we start if we do close a four hour above here then yeah I'd expect us to then start um, accelerating upwards you can see it was a um, horizontal support we had it drawn in you can see we faked that we, we traded above it and then got rejected and came back down I mean like I said technically bearish um, but obviously it won't be bearish until we start closing candles lower it won't be confirmed as bearish until we start closing candles lower <clears throat> and then we can look to a move I mean you would say to the bottom of this little small trend minute trend we've got going on minute zone um, but then if we break that again this one play comes into play and then downward downward we could go further let's have a look on the daily and the 12 hour um daily <clears throat> 12 hour not too much going on there we did have the daily nine um there so we could potentially move that a bit lower for the sell down here but i am happy where it is at the moment based on horizontals um so we'll leave it where it is Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Right, so what we had was, let me have a look at what we drew on here. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this so this looks like it's basically played out a plan. Let's go to the four hour, what we had drew on. Yeah, so this is what we had drawn on the four hour. We said, right, so um, if we break this level, um, we were trading in sort of in this range. Um, if we break this level, we um, will come down to test the 200, which I think this is what we had here. I think we had this drawn in before. So we did come down, nearly test it. We came back up, and then obviously, if we if we bounced off there, come back down. If we don't, if we break through, um, and then yeah, this is literally the targeted move. So just once again, look, we drew this on before. I'm not. I I check these with you guys in the morning. Um, I don't come go through these early. I mean, there's just no point in me doing that. It'd be a waste of my time, wouldn't it? I might as well go through at the same time as you guys. But yeah, so this is where we had it drawn. Look, practically target reach near the risk line, near the near that high. Um, just perfect trade obviously a uh, four hour nine there we never traded even close to below it so accelerated through it this is this is some this is the concept i will keep telling you guys that if we don't if we don't react to the nine once we start trading above it we can pretty much accelerate um through and um, but yeah good just great trade there i mean I, i'm slightly annoyed that i didn't pick that one up um but yeah <laughs> excellent excellent trade let's have a look at the 12 hour and the daily see if we have anything on here of note 12 hour nothing no no so the next the, the first indication of a sell will be um will be a, a four hour nine we could consolidate around here maybe break above the risk line um but yeah we're potentially looking for to fade to fade this move based on our td sequential but yeah look at that guys again just another great another great target reached um that's just great i just i do love to see it i mean i've been <laughs> training for years but still though when i draw these patterns on and then they fulfill it's just it just it just reassures me that um the the market is sane and this is isn't all random and you can you can basically translate the hieroglyphs of what the market is telling you um and 
yeah and there you go you can read those tea leaves is what i'm saying <laughs> so anything on the yes yeah, so we had this daily nine <clears throat> we broke below um we obviously drew this on saying that if we um if we um break that line further down if we don't bounce back up we did get the bounce back up now we came i mean we saw we saw again again a bit of a range forming here did we have some on the daily we we're looking at I and mean, then this is a bit tight it couldn't have been daily trade i mean it's a very tightening range as you can see on the daily so we're kind of um well we are kind of broadening that range as you can see but we've not really got any directional bias uh bias at the moment so our initial trade was good um, got back up to line back down yeah so um just more of a range i mean to be honest we'll probably have to take these off now now that we've expanded the range and moved out um i, I don't really feel that these are necessarily um appropriate we'll leave this one on though because that was a great trade and it's not really getting in the way of what of the new lines we'll draw going forwards um but yeah so just waiting for some sort of um well some sort of td entry really because we don't really have much other direction going on there canadian dollar swiss franc um so yeah we had the nine. Oh, this is a nice trade 409 we drew the lowest and um, we said obviously if we break that then we go down and we must have had this move coming down we also drew the hour to the first moving average and then we obviously then got to the second moving average you know you guys know this is how i i, I, how I target moves to the moving averages so that one first and then that one breaks and that one and then if that one in the 200 so it looks like we could be getting the the tic-tac-toe three in a row to the 200 do we have anything on the daily here nothing on the daily these are all purely four hour trades um so yeah just a good, uh, just a great great trade there another great trade great great trade great trade great trade right um euro uh, japanese yen um so we have this four hour sell here which we clearly didn't get and um, we leave this horizontal in because it's still an important horizontal um but yeah we potentially well we, we've had a price flip now obviously this candle's still open got plenty of time in this candle it can rally back up so we can keep the green count going but as the moment it looks like a price flip so we just have to leave this in really have to leave this um that's the only real obvious trade that i can see there 12 hour um one of these might be coming on a nine actually yeah 12 hour nine um and i'm guessing we're potentially getting a daily nine uh no so tw on the 12 hour i mean i don't really like i mean we've got a four hour 12 around daily i'm not i don't want to necessarily start keep adding 12 hour nines although i do use them as well but we'll draw it on we'll draw it on so um just uh just as note we've got it in our our our, our <laughs> thinner our thinner line so we know this is um a shorter term uh, well actually it's a longer term time frame than the four hour so um but yeah either way it's just a different trade and then yeah i mean if we break that 400 period is, is is moving down so it's hard to really say but that was support so we guess we can only really say here at the moment as a target and then if we break that level then then potentially just well potentially lower so we leave that on there so aussie dollar us dollar very similar trade here then we, we, this trade similar uh this is trading similar it seems um so yeah that was our line and as a horizontal important horizontal to break um not breaking it anything uh oh, we, oh so it was break it was based on this daily nine as well so no trade activated so no problems there for our we're we getting anything on the four hour we could potentially if we stay up here well we will if we stay up here two candles time eight hours time eight hours plus two hours and 30 50 minutes so um 10 hours and 50 minutes we will we will get a um a four hour nine and that will be a nice entry that'll be this this would be a nice trade um for a sell on the four hour and then um well it's it's kind of how do you want to look at do you think we're gonna have the momentum so maybe take some partial profits at here and then if we break below then enter even more basically enter like exercise position um that's how i would look at that us dollar canadian dollar so this is a good one we had the nine we had to move back we basically had this line drawn in if we break that we go upwards if we don't we don't we bounce off it important obviously clearly important level bounce off it move down um just textbook textbook trading there textbook market gap market action textbook translation of the market hieroglyphics <laughs> so there we go um us dollar swiss franc uh, so yeah we obviously had the drop out of this formation um very large very 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 large formation for yeah so we've had the drop out and we're still moving so um, i guess we can only really target the downside now we can only target the um the further downside are we going to get any any td9s you would expect though dropping out such a large formation we are struggle 
we are going to struggle to be turned around by any TD counts, if, if you know what I mean. Like, they, this this formation is obviously stronger than a, a TD count, um, in my experience. Not financial advice. Oh, let's straighten that up a little bit. Um, yeah, so we do have the 9 here, though. So if you do want to play a bounce, we'll put this on. This is the 4 hours. So if you do want to play a bounce, which um potentially risky, um, based on, like I just said, the larger to larger larger formation which has been a lot of um, a lot of weeks in the making has to take precedent over that but if we do if we do get one we'll draw it on and this is kind of like what we can expect I mean, we've just got arrows going everywhere now haven't we yeah potentially test the underside of the pennant of the trend line pennant obviously obviously a pennant these but is basically a, a, a two trend lines drawn that meter a meter a meter point so yeah it is still a trend line and it is still conform basically um, resistance as we've seen in our good old euro us dollar new zealand dollar us dollar um yeah so we've got our cell here very 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 clear defined horizontal here did we have some daily um nines or what were we drawing this so yeah we had daily nines so this is a very clear um, potential trade idea. If we close a four-hour candle below here, just sell basically, and um, we could potentially move it up based on the bottom of that nine. Um, but I'm happy where it is, to be honest. I'm happy. We'll leave that on there. Um, we'll leave that where it is for the time being. Does this need to be this long? Uh, no. We'll leave it here. Um, right. And does it need to be a tiny bit wonky? No we'll leave it there right dollar dollar is breaking down a little bit here oh we've got a little line on here so we had a little line based on what did we have this base right okay let right so we drew this on basically it was definitely the four hour let me just check it wasn't the daily yeah it was the four hour we had this drawn on as you guys know before this candle closed so i will just move it up um to the top so um the top of the candle there and that will be our buy entry so i know we obviously moved a little bit to where we where we did have the entry but I drew this on before the candle closed. Just and how do I know that? Because <laughs> I wouldn't have drawn it there, basically, as you guys know. So um, yeah, so there we go. Um, get above here, buy, 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 buy the dollar. I'm obviously bullish of this, but hey, look, look, I was completely wrong. Um, look, there, there's my sell trade. There was my line. Just perfect, perfect sell trade. There was a potential buy if we closed above, but but look, that would have been a bad trade. Um, you would have got a chance to get out of it. Um, for scratch um but yeah you would probably wouldn't have wanted to run it that far but yeah a bit of bit of um a bit of volatile action there in this this pair but yeah overall though look you should have shorted here and then just been looking to run it until you had a real reason to get out of the trade so in all fairness maybe not necessarily buying there but taking partial profits and then just let just seeing this drop out of drop out the trend but yes we've got a potential buying through here so we've got that on there anything on the daily or the 12 hour nothing there Oh yeah, so it's practically what I've just drawn on. It's basically the same same level. So we have got a nice nine here. This candle has got only got forty six minutes to go. This is a twelve hour. So yeah, this is the long tail. This is a, a a reversal looking candle. So yeah, um, trading above here, taking out that candle, that would be a pretty um a pretty decent buy. I would say. I would say personally, not a financial advice, not a financial advisor. It does line up with our um four hour four hour level as well so um there you go right us dollar brazilian real so we had a buy trade activated at um oh, why what is it even that's off is this off a daily um yes it's off a daily um is it off a daily because then it should have been high this is off a daily but maybe i am um, did i draw it on to did i draw it on before the candle had closed and we had more of this move up or did we base it on this? We didn't base it off a 12 hour. Um, is it based off anything on this four hour? No. So this 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 buy has to have been based. Um, just me knowing myself and how I trade. Had to have been based on based off this daily. But what we had is obviously that daily candle when we placed this line had a bit more of a move. Um, so realistically we've got to move this up to here. Uh, and that would be the updated buy entry so we're not far off it um so yeah we'll potentially see what happens there um nice move beautiful move down off the nine there though fantastic trade us dollar mexican peso yep yeah, this one is obviously correct the buy here daily daily buy we've not traded over it so no trade four hour can we pinpoint a potential entry on the four hour 
Again, not traded above that, so no trade and no nine, so no trade. Um, we could potentially get one though coming up, so this will be one to monitor, uh, monitor for a potential entry into here, where you would then probably look to average it on side. Um, once we, if we then get this buy and go up and then break through there. So last one, last one, guys. U.S. dollar, Turkish lira. Um, so here we have a a nice sell trade. Um, well, a nice sell potential entry based on the four hour, which we haven't got. Um, this must have been based on something on the daily. Um, <clears throat> I think so. I believe so. And um, we've obviously got this base. So we'll move this. Right. Let me just have a look at what we've got exactly before we start to shift these around these potential entries a little bit. So, um, yeah. So four hour. Um, this is the four hour sell. How does it correspond with this daily sell? Um, this daily sells a bit higher too. So based on the daily nine, potentially move this up to about here. We'll move this along. Um, potential sell there for continuation if we break down below that. I mean, I guess we already broke down below, so I can't really have that on a trade. So actually, just <laughs> scrap that. Um, so we had that sell, and then yeah. So literally, this is our next trade. Um, trade. We had this trade basically. So we've got to delete that. We had that trade on the daily. We traded below. Um, it went into nice profit. We either did or didn't take profits. Um, so right, we've now got this nine here. So here is the new sell level. Here is the we'll do. Here is the new sell level. Here is the new sell level. We're doing it with our nice thinner um, line, so we know it is a is a so we know it is a four hour trade. There we go, there's our sell level and then the buy level. I mean the buy level actually did trade above it if we were going to draw it. So let me just check we had nothing on the daily we needed to look at. Um <clears throat> yeah. In all fairness the daily should have been um the daily buy should have been a bit below so we should basically be activating the daily buy here right now. Um this is a bit wonky and also it has an arrow on the end. So yeah, well, so yeah, and to be honest, that does correspond with the four hour as well. So if we move this down to where it should be from on the daily, um, here, it does basically show we practically entered, entered, um, got to the trade. Um, move this across a little bit across here. So let's look how this looks on the four hour. I think it will line up very, look at that. Look at the confluence there. So the four hour was actually activated, um, activated as the trade um, and the daily basically isn't yet because um, we haven't closed the daily, but it looks like we will be closing this. Well, I say that this this day's got, got 10 hours to go. If we do close above on the daily, that again is more of a bullish indication. So we could be looking for a bit of a move up in this um, still. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so it all really comes down to the dollar and whether it can get get moving above here and keep going up that's what it really comes down to because a lot of these are dollar pairs or risk on risk off pairs um so it will depend on whether we're going to get um, and that will depend probably on whether we get more of a sell-off in the stock markets um so yeah a bit of a long video but we had a lot to look at with it being monday first trading day of the week so yeah uh, remember none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor guys always do your own research and i will speak to you all soon